Uh, so yeah, good day and thank you so much for this opportunity. It's such an honor for me to have the time and also the conversation to share to all of you about the AI in the future of HI, HR. And yeah, I'm Putri, as a HR head from AI Radar, one of the leading artificial intelligence company that focus in voice GPT. And for today, I will talking about AI in the future of HR and will be specialization in the recruitment and also the ethical impl implication of the AI itself. So yeah, wait a moment. I will share you this video. I mean, like, want to introduce you our <laughs> our product first, the product of AI Rider. Customer base made worse by a limited workforce. The solution? Let humans perform complex communication while making AI automate high volume repetitive communication. AI Rudder's next generation AI platform helps call centers supercharge their operations with AI powered voice assistance. From telemarketing and payment reminders calls to customer surveys and conversation analysis, our AI can understand the sentiment, intent, and conversational context, accurately responding to questions while staying 100% compliant. It understands multiple languages, dialects, and accents, and is able to provide a seamless experience across multiple channels. Ensure your communication approach aligns with your brand and desired customer experience while completing thousands of calls, no matter your business vertical. The best part? We help you automate your call center operations in just a few clicks. The future of business communication is happier customers. Try AI Rudder today. Okay, so that's a little bit about our voice GPT, uh, one of our product. And yeah, we came next for the product. So as you can see in my previous presentation, in my previous video, so we are the voice GPT, uh, we have the voice GPT product as our main product. And you should know the AI Radar is a leading voice AI solution provider for the enterprises. And some of the things of the product is we have the telemarketing board and then the info verification part and loan collection part, quality azure part, and also customer service part. And the next one is about the predictive di dialing system. So as you know, because this is the voice GPT product or voice GPT AI voice, so we have some of the partnership with multiple industry such as banking and finance, insurance, e-commerce and retail and also the logistic and supply chain still safe and let's talking about the ai in the future of hr that is one of the main focus that we that i want to talking and also share with you today so as we know the ai technology is may not take your job because the empathy of human is going to be changed by the robot but uh, especially in the HR department or in the HR function, but it will be almost certainly changed and can help make your job easier and improve efficiency and also the productivity. So it will be have some of the relation with the HR function and also the application of AI in HR. So yeah, this is some of the scam that we can see about what, what's the future of AI in HR. First thing first, we should know the HR technology. It's to begin with the natural language processing, or we, we call it with the NLP. And as we know, it's some of the things by the LLP is example include virtual assistant, a chatbot, and unstructured data processing. So the future of AI in HR has the implication for some of the application of AI in HR. For application of AI in HR, the first thing is in recruitment and also the hiring process. As you can know, the AI is one of the modern technology and also one of the future technology then that can help human to make the job easier, efficient, and also effective and productivity. So in recruitment and hiring itself, the AI have some of the impact to help uh, the HR to do some of the job description and then can help the HR to screen a lot of CV that we have. That's why if you want to apply for some job in HR company, in AI company, it's better if you use the ATS friendly format for the reason. Why I talk about it? Because 
almost the technology company and also a company used the ATS system in their recruitment channel. So it will be help you if you have the ATS friendly format for your CV or is it? And uh, the AI can read and also can screen your application. And uh, the, another one from the recruitment and also the hiring itself, it will be help you to make some of the uh, volunteering generation and then help to writing a job description in the job ads and also to help you make schedule to do some of the interview. Still in recruitment and also the hiring process, one of the great thing for me uh, to make AI to help me in the hiring and also the recruitment process is when 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 in the interview stage. Some of the platform that we have is some of the AI summarize. So when when we're talking with the candidate, the AI can help us to summarize all all of our conversation and also we'll send with the feedback and also the summary after the interview is done. And it's one of the things that I think great to have and also the great to know because sometimes when we when we do some the interview with the candidate, we miss some of the information. We miss some of the answer and explanation by the candidate. But with AI summarize, it really helped me. It really helped me to make summary and also to make a note by the interview and also to know how, how the candidate explanation is clear enough or not. So it's helped me in the recruitment and also the hiring process. And the next one is in the employee and also onboarding and offboarding, employee and boarding and offboarding. So we know that people come and go. And also in HR, one of the function is to do the onboarding, also the offboarding session. So that's why for me with, with, with AI, it's really helped us AI we will can help us to make some of the schedule reminder, the training session for the new joiner, and also to make the reminder before the before the employee got some of the offboarding session. It really helped to to make you easier to remember the schedule, to you to remember the training, to make you to make you easier to encourage and also to provide the onboarding also the offboarding itself and the next one is about the performance review as we know when the contract of the employee is ended we will what we have the performance review to decide will we to extend this contract or once we end this contract and for the performance review that help by ai ai can help us to make some of the format AI can help us to make some of the survey. AI can help us to make some of the uh, question and also help to answer better for the performance review itself. It's uh, AI really helped the HR itself, especially in the administration fun function. That's why the application of AI in HR is really have some of the impact and also the benefit itself. And as I thought before at first, one of the benefit of the AI in HR is really make the administration things better, easier, and also productivity efficiency. So another one is about the talent development or the learning development. HR has so many things and also so many function that different that has the difference uh, depart in the department. So that's why we have some of the team members that will be focused with the function. And this one is about the talent development or learning development. We can set and also we can make some of the training, we can make some of the uh, learning and development session to help the employee to, to grow in the career. To, to help the employee get the better development session, get the better development activity, and also learning something new. And with AI, I think it's really helped the HR team. We can make some of the multiple activity, learning activity, and also development activity. As you know, one of the activity by the learning and development is 
uh, the team building activity. And team building activity for me is really one of the important things to make the unity of the team and also to make the team is not only busy with the work, but also can find uh, at, the, at the office. So uh, that's why people development, training, design, and also the delivery, delivery something, something new is one of the things that AI can help for the talent development or learning development in HR function. And another application in HR that can be helped by AI is in HR chatbot and virtual assistants. Previously, I mentioned that one of the things and also the great things that really can help us in HR is the summary, AI summary. There's a lot of platforms that have this feature and a chatbot, virtual assistants like AI summary and then like the chatbot, it really help us. Uh, not only for the HR, but if you want to see, it's all, it's it also will help some of the candidate, some of the new joiner, all the employee, to do some of the practice before they they, they do some of the interview with the HR. For example, if you want to apply for the position, you need to know about the job description and also the main skill for the position that you applied for, and chatbot really can help you in the perspective or HR to know better how and also what's the skill that this position need. And also how the job description for this position and also can help you to make some of the practice for the interview session. It's one of the things that I, that I really think it's the great things because it's, on, it's not only help for the HR practitioner, but also will help for some of the candidates and also the new joiner, for someone who wants to looking and also apply applying for the, for the job. So it it's will make uh, people and also human easier to make something more clear and also more well prepared. Because uh, as we know, the result is will be by our pre practice, the practice, will be will be combine you for the for the results so with the ai technology it will will be help you to make some of the well prepare for the practice and also for for the some of the assessment before you before you did also before you pass some of the interview stage or the hiring stage of the company and another one is the hr admin and also services as we know, in every company, we have a lot of assets and also we have a lot of inventories. So that's why it really need some of the tools, some of the feature that can help us to compile all the data, all the administration team, or to make it compile it and also in the one in the one place. And AI can help it to sort it by our categorize and also can help us with the with the feature to make the administration is really net and also better. And the next one is about the compensation and the benefit. And as we know, the compensation and benefits is one of the uh, curious thing and also one of the important thing to appreciate and also to give the reward for the employee. So we should have, and also we should set this with the settle, and also should have uh, some of the grading. And as we know, the things in compensation and benefit is about the job grading, and then uh, the compensation and also the benefit policy, and also the reward and recognizing. So it will be help the HR team to make it clear how to reward the employee, how to grading the job of the employee for some of the position, also the differences from the department, and will be better to make the increase of the salary in the annu annual year for the employee itself. The employers will be have this the compensation and benefit with the good and also with the clear grading of the job and also the benefit itself. So I could say the application of AI in HR is really have the big and also a lot of impact, especially in administrative thing, because as I told you before, this, uh, this feature of AI 
this uh, consistency of AI really help HR to make everything easier and effective. I believe AI can change human, especially for the MPT itself, but AI can change and also can help the things with the nets and also with the effectively. It will be help us with a lot of to do of the job, more everything is easier and also shorter with some of the feature that AI can help and also they can, the AI can provide. So that's why it's such a great thing to know how AI can help us uh, in the in the function of our our job. And yeah, because as I mentioned before, there's a lot of application of AI in HR function. So it's related with what what's the benefit of AI in HR. You already know some of the benefit of AI in HR as I told you previously, but it is some I can summarize for for the benefit of AI in HR. The first thing is improve efficiency and also the productivity. Why? Why AI can improve efficiency and also the productivity? Because as you know, and also based on my explanation previously, some of the function of HR really need a lot of time to do, especially when we should manage some of the administration thing, when we should make some of the notes of the uh, interview notes and also the feedback. But with AI, it really makes productivity really efficient. AI can help us when, when HR do the interview with the candidate, can assist you with some of the nuts and also can assist you to make the summarize, to make the summary of your conversation with the candidate. It really will make your time efficient and also make some of the information that you missed before, you can check and also you can see on the summary by the AI. And the second thing, the benefit is about the better structure and also the process. Sometimes we really think how, how to manage and also how to make the structure process with the net and also the detail and also not, uh, not there are some of the double stage for the, for the hiring process especially. And with AI, it will be help you to remind you the stage and also will help you with the structure because the, the AI have some of the uh, structure a uh, thing and also can can be as issue with the process itself and the third is about the less repetitive and time consuming tasks for people teams as you know at the previous slide we have so many sub department so many function of hr so you can imagine how many times that we sold to spend for, 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 for each function. And which AI, with AI, HR really, really feel it's really help us for the function. We less the repetitive thing. We can focus for the an, another prioritize. And also we can time consuming text for the operation itself. The operation is about the administration, it's about the data, it's about the uh, format. They really can help us for that. And the last one is about the more data driven for the decision making. So as we know, as HR, HR department is one of the department that has a lot of data by the employee and also the employer itself. And mostly all the data is confidential. So can you imagine how we can secure all of the data, how we should manage all the data, how we should to uh, compile in the safe place and also to save it in the net structure, in the clear structure and also the detail. And with the AI, AI feature, really help us to make the data-driven decision maker, making. So for example, we need to, we need to see how, how the 
we need to see the team that can, that will be that will be uh, celebrate their first anniversary at, the, at at our employer at our company, and with AI, AI can help us to make the summarize to compile all the data about the employee that will be anniversary this month. So AI really help and also have the big impact for HR department, especially in the operation team, operation function, and also the uh, management, talent management, especially. But yeah, I could say that with AI, it's one of the uh, modern technology, the future technology that will be have the, so much impact and also be uh, one of the technology can help you to make everything easier. But please remember, AI is only will help your job, but AI will never change the empathy of the human itself. Because as you know, in HR department, we need to have the empathy. We need to really understand about the humans, about our employee, to can make some of the consultation to the to the employee. So that's why for for some of the operation things, for some of the management thing, AI will can help us. But for to uh, for the approaching human to human, AI will never can change the HR. So this is one of the opinion opinion for me for the AI itself, especially for in the business in the business area. So for me, artificial intelligence will be the future of the communication, especially in the B2B communication, an ultimate version of the technology. With AI, it will be help you harness the power of AI and supercharge your business target experience. And it is one of the things and one of the goals of my company, AI Radar, that wants you help to uh, to make the world be the future of the communication uh, in the B2B uh, and also to make some of our partner more easier and also more healthier with, with our product because our product is, is this for the for the voice for the voice AI that really can help the financial service industry that really can help some of the insurance or technology company more be fit and also more be uh, efficient for the communication in the B2B itself. So I will close this uh, presentation and really I hope everyone here can get some of the uh, lesson by my presentation about the AI in HR. And before I close this presentation, I have some of the tips to you guys that I really want to apply or also want to, want to have a career in AI industry. If you want to, if you want to focus and also if you want to have a career in AI industry, please take an action, do the research, and also know better about the position that you applied for. Sometimes we really, we really need someone who have the background is from the technology company, but another one we, we also we also looking for the another industry. So if you want to apply in an AI company, please know the AI better. Please know the product of your company that you applied for better. So when user or interviewer asks you about what do you know about our company product, you can give some of the overview. You can give some of the opinion of the product knowledge that you that you know. So thank you so much for the time. And yeah, I hope everyone can can get the lesson from my presentation and really I enjoyed it today and yeah, it is some, such an honor for me to can share to you and also talking with you guys about the AI in the HR. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.